Well, good morning, guys. Well, it's morning here, anyways. So, I'm over at Dad's. He said, bring the camera over here. I want to show everyone the update. He's finally hiring something done here. Thank goodness. So, it's getting worse again instead of better, but it, it will get better. Let's go see what's up. hiring this done one little small addition to the uh, project <laughs> got one chance to do it right so now I got to molest molest massage the road ditch here because well I'd hate to see Amy tip off and crash the big mower when uh, she hits all them bumps from many years ago like what 30 years ago all the kids from the whole local area used to drive down the road ditch drive up this hill and then they'd go swimming down here it was known in the area as the swimming beach so I've done it myself many times <laughs> as a youthful child so just doing a little dirt work down there okay what what do you got going on up here let's go check this out you know? and then I gotta get the irrigation yeah, up around my house because well it's uh, enough of the Enough is enough with all the lack of rain and dead grass around the house. Amy said now is a chance to take it to the next level and get nice grass around the house. So, from my understanding, they put mains in, inch and a quarter inch uh, line for the main, and then they tee off, and we'll be putting heads in up against the house. Oh. So it's like mini tile, only it's pressurized, obviously, yeah, like an irrigation. Tile. Actually, this year we should have maybe tiled, <laughs> forced the water back up the tile, but oh boy, somebody's down. They're going to be watching us talk about them. So how much of this are you doing? The whole well, thing? Well, there's talk of doing more than I had originally thought of doing. <laughs> you know how it goes. Well, we got the expense it's in, an upgrade. in the pump, in the... The electrical so you're going to pump out of the lake. That's the idea. So no no staining of the uh, house if it does get water splashed on there. The lake water won't uh, won't wreck anything and rust it like well water. So would. how many heads are you going to have out here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know. The heads aren't too terribly expensive. Neither is the pipe, but the pump and the electrical stuff uh, that oh, gets no, to don't be. Don't forget about the labor. Well, the labor. I am so sick of this project. I finally said, I can't do it no more. I've got the equipment to do it, but I don't have the time, nor the help. <laughs> so what's the cords for? Well, well, once again, as I understand, there will be uh, the shutoff valves. Is that the right terminology? I'm sure not. But uh, then that will zones. They will turn on different zones and irrigate uh, different parts of the lawn as uh, as what? As, as needed. it needed? I suppose the pump can't do the whole yard at once. So it's No, gotta be they got to keep the pressure up so they get so ready. Huh, so inch and a quarter and then what do they run off with? I'm not sure. One Looks inch? Like one inch or three quarter. Huh. It's all bigger than I had imagined. And now Amy, all she has to do is keep the pump clean from moss and Debris. <laughs> I can see like you that. out there late right. October trying to pull it out. Yep. Icicles More. hanging from your nose. <laughs> More self inflicted misery. <laughs> Maybe I could get a mini golf. The worst golf. part is, is he'll have to mow now every what, four days? Well, the theory is 
instead of me mowing at point five miles an hour because I can't hang on the mower because the lawn is always so rough from erosion <laughs> in the grass that's dead and then it washes little rivers out and then you're just bouncing steady. I should be able to go like you used to go when you were a smaller kid and wide yeah, but open. I don't know if that theory is right because now you got to mow three times as much. Yeah, but I can go twice as <laughs> four times as fast. <laughs> so it ain't going to take no more time. <laughs> I, I could just hear it now. I don't like mowing either. I could just hear it now. Oh, got to go open mow again. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll keep you posted. Hey, there's mom. You excited that this <laughs> is underway? Yes. I saw your pickup and I'm like, why is this pickup parked on the road? And I'm like, why is a tractor parked? And here you are talking to the people. Yep, we're here showing off his landscaping. Well, I had this all level and yeah. now look at what you've done. See now, thankfully, my <laughs> rock pile, I had enough rock. I was, every time I scooped into that pile, before we were done, my heart started to actually <laughs> pound because I thought I'm gonna run short. I'm not gonna have enough. But I had enough, so now I've got too much. <laughs> so now I'm trying to get rid of it, and we're gonna have to find a place to store that. Uh, get a big tote, cut the top off. Yeah, we, we gotta store rocks now. Now we're storing rocks. Yep. In the shed. <laughs> Somebody wanna buy some rock? I got a tote of rock. I can see how this is gonna go. Winterization will get skipped, or you'll forget how to do it. They or... do it. Oh, that's good. That's in on the deal. The yeah. first year, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to sneak home, maybe, and watch <laughs> All it. the heads will be froze and busted. <laughs> no, I think we'll continue to have them do it, because I know how this goes. And, you know, we were in Kansas, and we saw, Stone and I saw, a sprinkler system, one head that got missed. And it was water that had been spraying overnight, and it was all frozen and Someone missed one of the valves. So, no. They have to blow out their heads down there? Yeah. All right, I'm, uh, we gotta go. I gotta go. A big storm came through. Brody's win or rear window on his Impala shattered out. His side window shattered out. I'm afraid it's his, totaled. All, I think so, too. His uh, house is all dented up from tree branches smoking into it. His flag poles broke off. Trees down all over his yard. Uh, another nice storm came through, so I gotta go check some cornfields. But he did get an inch and a half of rain. Yeah, but we got none. But I more I'd rather have no none than yeah, tree branches it, all over it, everything. Yeah, I agree. I'll take my tenth of rain last <laughs> night with some wind, but uh, I don't want no tornado weather. No seventy mile an hour wind. So <laughs> I'm done with that. You all go right. field scout then, and I'll finish up here quick. All right, I'll see you in tomorrow. No, I'll be home in a while. <laughs> All right, well, I'll leave them to that. That that job, it's supposed to be 99 today, and since it did rain, well, next to nothing, but it's really humid, it's gonna be, I, I honestly don't know how they're gonna do it, because a lot of it is manual labor now, digging holes, teeing off, and all that. They have a vibrating machine that lays the pipe and the wire in, so that part's easy. It's all the manual tea boxes and sprinkler heads and all that but first time the reason why they're so wanting the sprinklers is that big clay hill it just dries out really bad and the first time when we built the house I remember the struggle of trying to water it and get grass established and it just it didn't work so uh yeah now they're they're doing it right they're doing it right so hopefully they uh get that all done and get some grass seeded and those guys are actually going to do the final grade and grass seeding and everything so good all right we were watching the storm last night and it kind of moved if it was going to get any of our stuff it was probably going to be this one or this one i didn't hear any reports of hail but i'm still driving around just checking moistures obviously nothing bad has happened here i mean leaves aren't ripped up the only thing i'm noticing is that it's not very tall but that's just due to lack of water it does get a little bit taller out there but Super uneven this year, just really wavy, all due to moisture, not enough rain. But so far, I haven't found anything too concerning, or really concerning at all, other than that, I don't think we got much rain here at all. Haven't seen no high wind issues. There's a little bit of moisture here, but if you dig down, 
a half inch, it's dry dirt, so not not anything that'll help us. They look pretty decent here though. Well, I'm up uh, on our farthest north farm, uh, looking at neighbor corn, no, neighboring cornfields. Nothing got too windy here. I would say this one probably got the most rain out of them all. Nothing crazy. There is mud on the boots, but definitely wasn't an inch. I would say maybe half inch or so. So at least we got one field got rain. Other than that, nada. But like we were saying at dad's is I'd rather have no rain than our corn east of here but that way it's kind of where Brody lives maybe 25 miles away that's where that wind inch and a half of rain which is awesome but now a lot of the corn fields are tipped over or beat up some shed roofs are missing obviously Brody's yard is hurt in town I'm glad we didn't get that need the rain but that's gonna do more harm than good all right guys I got an announcement to make we are gonna be at the farm progress show on the 29th and the 30th of August we are gonna be doing the machine demos in the field so we will be running a halo VRT and a Salford 5200 and we'll be the drivers of that we got some other cool stuff planned for that event also um, if you guys want any updates for this just uh, go on Instagram, follow Sulphur Group. They are going to have updates on what's going on, times, and so on and so forth. Um, but I just thought I'd let you guys know if you are going to Farm Progress Show, stop by the demos. I think it's going to be a fun event. Uh, the show is always awesome anyways. And if you guys uh, have questions for us, submit them also through their uh, link in their bio, in Sulphur Group's bio. And I think, I believe we're going to be doing a Q&A there a little bit. So, yeah, hopefully everything goes good and everyone gets there and it'll be a fun time. Brody! You didn't drive your Impala today. No, I didn't. What happened? Tree branch hit it, busted the window, <laughs> <laughs> dented it. And not good. You think she's totaled? Yes. Yeah. And fall it down. And fall it down. Are you happy that it's totaled or sad? I'm pretty sad about it actually. Oh. Hey, now you can hit Facebook Marketplace and find a better one. Yeah, exactly what I want to do. <laughs> it was a good car. Now you got to go through the whole window tinting process again. No, I got to go through the whole insurance process again. and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Big storm through Morse. Oh, yeah. Corn is all flat. Good thing we don't farm in Morris. Roofs are off of buildings. Tree branches everywhere in town. Not good. And your siding's all dented. Siding's all dented. <laughs> yeah, it moved my trailer 180 degrees. How's that possible? <laughs> Garbage can was across the shop on the other side. Were you in the basement fearing for your life? I was in bed at first, and then it picked up, and I was kind of like, looked outside, seen a tree branch fly across. All right, we're going downstairs. <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse than a tornadic storm come through in the nighttime when you're sleeping, and you can't see what's coming. You I had can't one of them see. big mag lights, that mag light I have. Oh, that worked really good. I could really see what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that again. That's two. Two what? Two storms. <laughs> Big Bob will be making an appearance again. It, it has to go there. <laughs> I ain't picking it up by myself and cutting it and burning it. <sighs> what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I have plans. <laughs> I did get an inch and a half of rain, so. Yeah, that the, does a lot of good. Yeah. But the corn's all flat. <laughs> Well, the next project we have on the list is the fan The fan motors on top of the grain leg saga continues. They keep going shot So we're gonna try three phase this time. So we're gonna put these up there electrician will have to come wire them up actually pull new wire to them But me and Brody get to uh, lug up a bunch of stuff even that light I'm gonna see when I get up there Brody if that lights even gonna work but might be doing 
putting that light up there. Why don't you just carry this up? Should have a backpack. That's all you need. It's not even heavy. That's what the bucket's for. And this rope. <laughs> if it was a ladder staircase deal, that'd work. It is the hottest day to do this. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to sit right here. It's going to be so breezy up there. It'll be beautiful. Yeah, and I'll be down here sweating. <laughs> All right. No hands to climb with. The heights never get less scary, Brody. Whew. I love the view, though. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to send the rope down so he can attach a bucket to this. And I don't think the rope's long enough to make it towards the top up there. I hate heights, Brody. I hate it. I don't like it. That is it, Brody. That's all you got to work with. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm tying it off so I don't drop it. You ready? I'm never ready for this fight. Ugh. It's so peaceful that you're whistling as I'm laboring my body so bad. Keep the bucket tied on. <laughs> 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 Woo! All right, deploying the bucket. Heads up. Uh, you can put both in there and see how horribly heavy it is. I don't know what's worse, struggling really, really bad once or going through it twice. I will say that was towards the end of what I wanted to do, that alone. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm about shot. Four bucket pulls of about all I can do. Brody. You're gonna have to pull it the rest of the way. I'm tired, I'm shot. Five minute break. Ah! Welcome to the party. We should do this every day. We'd be in you shape. Would, you'd be jacked if you climb this every day. Whew. I've soaked my shirt. I have some belly button sweat <laughs> going on. Yeah, it happens. Okay, I got a 100 foot rope, so we're at the 100 foot mark. We got 20 more to go. Here's the rope end. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the guy handing stuff up. <sighs> you did it! We made it! It only took an hour. <laughs> now it's lunchtime. <sighs> okay. I'm okay. Hot. Okay, so that light, Dad was thinking off of here, maybe, or here, shining down, lighting up that area, and might go over the pit some too. This would be a nice place. Is that going to be strong enough though? That'd be kind of a everywhere zone. I hope you didn't weld this. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> you know what I could live without doing for the rest of my life? It's replacing one of these motors. I think this is the gonna be the fifth and sixth one. And look at the crap that's packed in there. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, do not drop. I can't even describe to you how nasty that feels on my body. It's sweaty and then it sticks on. Look at that. Uh huh. Yep. Okay, now we gotta take the fan off. So I'm gonna put it on the other one. And that plate. camera just took it. Nice. How's the air conditioning, Duggo? It's probably on the phone. Yeah, wide turn. Look at that. Yeah. Look at him. 
Lexus. I'm on the phone. Hola! <laughs> Tell him he still has dirt in his box. All right, we've got the fan blade off of the old motor, put on the three-phase motor. This has to go back in the shroud here. And then the electrician's got to come pull new wires to these boxes so that it's three-phase. Or maybe they'll rewire it all and make it just right to it. I don't know what they're going to do, but the main hard work as far as what we have to do is that. And then I mounted this light bracket right here. It's solid, it should work great. We're gonna have it facing that way over that bend. I think it will kinda go towards the pits there and down if we're ever reclaiming or doing anything, any issues in the dark during the fall, we'll be set. All right, we had to take it out, put it in like five times because there's shims. Since it's a different motor, it was hitting but we got her, she spins, it's mounted. We gotta do the other grain legs side here. I'm too short for that side. Yeah, that one is, I don't like doing that side. That's why we started with the easy side. Well, it's lunchtime, so. Uh... <laughs> Two shims. Two? And that one. Two in the top left. It looks like an Impala. Brody, hey! did you find your new Impala driving down the road? No, not that one. It's gotta be white. <laughs> sport. A white sport Impala? Yep. Hit me up. Hit him up. Do you guys need help or you got a pay up down there or what you got? A northern chill, please. <laughs> Couple northern chills here. Some water, northern chill, please. <laughs> well, I'm in my office, but no, no, we're working. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting on a five gallon pail? Why am I sitting on a five gallon pail? Whoa. Did you about drop it? It won't come out. Just right. won't come out. Do you want me to come down there? I don't know. How am I gonna tap that off? Because if I tap on this, it's gonna tighten it up. Why does it go on so nice, but it came off so difficult? It don't turn? I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. We're golden. Good. Good. Now we just got a mount of light grease up here while we're up here. I should have brought a three quarter so we could have checked these belt tensions. Uh, I think that's 1500 bucks, so please don't drop that. Okay? Okay. Well, my key we only have... important thing is to not drop the bolts down. Okay, we're going for the dead center. One is in. Oh. No. Hurry up. Don't rush me, Brody. You know, I'd really stink if you dropped. Okay. Who laid now this? Now it's gonna be the angle. Who laid this in the sun? It's really hot. We're gonna want it tipped down. And then. Like that? Probably more. 
because it that jets hole. out pretty good. That hole? Too much up. Oh, too, that's way too much up. Go back down. Keep going down. Down, 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 down. No, oh, way too far. Up, up. <laughs> I don't know, man. What do you think? I want it to kind of go that way. You can't have it here. No, that's way too much up. This next hole that. is way too far. Okay, then middle. Don't you think? Yeah. I like this one. Okay. My arms are really sweaty. I would let go, but I still don't feel safe about this $1,500 light that I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be sufficient. I really like Brody's idea to get some sort of sealed box up here so that we leave this grandpa's grease gun up here for greasing up here so we don't have to in season carry one up here. But then we could keep the rope, maybe even a bucket up here. So then you just get up here, lower it all down. We need to do that, but I don't know how we're gonna get a big box up here. Yeah, that's the problem. Look at the size of this bearing. It's huge. <laughs> I'm waiting for this for quite a while. This stuff is in the link in the description, by the way. You can get it on pallet sale. Really good stuff, you can use the Larson. 20 I believe or it'll be in the description you can get a discount also this light is from Northwest lighting systems we picked this up when we were redoing the uh, shop lights I'll put them down there too as long as we're plugging people we might as well just get it all done at once right Whew. all right Brody's sending down the junk motors down right down there dad sent up some stuff we're gonna take apart this make sure belts are tight for fall since Ben's site's basically empty, service it up, then we know we're good to go for fall. All right, the belts are looking pretty good, like tension-wise, but I can see there's areas where they get loose because the belts have been burnt and have gotten thin in areas. Like right here, you can see that one's sitting down deeper. I don't know if we should replace them or what. I'm really just really sick of putting that bucket down though. Oh, finally, finally lowering stuff down. We did end up replacing the belts just because it's 120 feet in the air and hate to do it when the combines are in the field. You got blisters yet? You're doing the last run. Okay. All right, I think we got everything. Last time I was up here, I forgot my phone. Had it was down on the ground, like, where's my phone? And realized it was at the top of the leg. Back up I went. All right, Brody. I'm heading down, descending. Can you bring my food up here? How much can I eat up here? It is. I had my shirt off for a while. That's why I didn't record the belt going on, but it's actually not bad then. Think of the blistering sunburn you could get up here. Blistering, going down. You said hurry up, I want my mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's what his concerns are right now. One-handed. This is horrible. Can't hit the button. That's so hot on the hands. Yeah, you need gloves to do it that way. Touchdown. Rope coming down. Rope coming down. Man, that would hurt. Usually, this is the first time that we've ever done this at this time of the year. Usually it's one of them foggy, cool mornings and the so cold up there that you just question survival. Anybody got frostbite today? No, it's just heat exhaustion. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm glad that job's done. My hands hurt. <laughs> There's just got to be a better way. Elevator? Do they make elevators for these? I did see a guy, there's an outfit up in Canada that makes some sort of a basket that attaches itself to the side of grain bins. I don't know why you couldn't get that on. I gotta do some research. Hey, hey basket man or elevator man from the grain, leg, grain bin Canada company, give me a call, we gotta talk.
three two zero. No, Canada ain't three two zero. No, you. Huh? Yeah. Your number. We'll give out your oh. phone number. <laughs> You want to tell them about them little kids that were vandalizing your house phone in the middle of the night? No, well, let's just say they won't call me back. <laughs> there was some PG-13 language used. You don't call me at 2 in the morning and expect me to be in a good mood. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. When did that happen? Fourth of July weekend, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go to the AC. <laughs> you yeah. might go into shock at that point. At least you got your brunt pants on. Brunt. 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 <laughs> you even got your brunt shirt. <laughs> uh. Why is it so